Good evening. I'm Ken Bastida. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. We begin with a major concert event, and it's a first for this pandemic. Yeah, KPI X5's Andrea Borba is live at Chase Center for what will be the first full capacity event in more than a year. Andrea? Well over a year at this point, Ken. Take a look behind me. The gates open at 6 o'clock here for the Tame Impala concert. There are a few new pandemic rules to get inside and party on. There's a merch table on Thrive Plaza selling concert t-shirts for the first time in. And over 500 since our last concert, so we are very excited about tonight. Tonight's Tame Impala concert is sold out, meaning more than 13,000 bands will be packed inside Chase Center for the show, which was originally supposed to happen in March 2020. Daniela Granados can't believe the day has finally arrived. I feel pretty more confident than if the concert was earlier this year. It's been a long time since I've been around that many people at one time. You know, I've been to concerts before, so I'm really excited to cut the a great atmosphere with that many people, so it'll be nice to be in that atmosphere again. Getting in the door will be a two-step process. First, a check of your vaccination status, and then your ticket will be scanned at the gate. Chase Center has partnered with Clear to expedite the process. We feel like we'll be able to get everyone in the building and enjoying a fantastic show tonight. Masks will also be required inside unless you're actively eating or drinking. Dr. Monica Gandhi of UCSF says there is every reason to feel safe with case rates and test positivity falling in addition to vaccine mandates to get inside. They also are opening Broadway. All of these things are coming back with vaccine passports. So um, they did this in uh, the UK. They had big, huge venues open. Um, everyone was vaccinated. Uh, in that case, they didn't have masks. So, you know, this is our this is our trial, but I actually feel very safe. I would feel safe myself. 